After months of Illuminati being naughty, trying to sue people left, right and centre, we now know the real reason behind it. The truth is out, and the time is now. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, does it? After Illuminati filed a lawsuit against Ozzy Media, Wonderstruck, and Felix the Kit Kat, it turns out it wasn't justice that she was after. It was actually the money. I mean, of course, it goes without saying, of course she wanted money. But the point is, is the reason why she wanted it. Turns out, ladies and gentlemen, the Blair Zone is going up in flames. The Illuminati is being sued for tax evasion. And that's exactly what we're going to go through in today's video. It's not just about the tax evasion, it's also about how she lives her life. She lives her life very lavishly in her ivory tower, on her golden throne, the Empress Blair Zon. I'm telling you, if we were in the multiverse right now and there was a comic book out, Blair Zon would be the villain. She reminds me of Victor Von Doom, wants all the power, wants all the energy, the money. Well, little did she know, the power would be soon siphoned from her. So sit back, ladies and gentlemen, I've got my iced coffee here, just as cold as Blair Zon's personality. Leave a comment down below, because I don't know if you noticed, but I spent about an hour replying to every single comment on my last video. There's about 200 comments, so if you leave a comment on this one, I'm going to try my best to respond. Now, I do have a couple of Reddit posts to read, as well as a couple of documents showing how much debt Blair is in and let me tell you this she's in deep deep shit <laughs> but I did see a comment asking me what is the name of the giraffe behind me I'm not saying this again all right how dare you forget his name this my friends is my best friend this is Jerry okay he's about seven foot tall I got a little tortoise here since I've had since I was three years old his name it's Cliff. So Cliff and Jerry's in the audience today, as well as all you beautiful people at home. Let's all comment below and say it together. Hi, Jerry and Cliff. <laughs> but anyway, with that said, subscribe to the channel, and let's read this Reddit post. Illuminati sued for tax evasion. As we all know, Blair's been sued for $26,000 for tax evasion. Ooh! 26 grand! It's a lot of money. I mean, surely for a channel like Blair's, that shouldn't be much of a problem. Let's take a look at her social blit. So she was pulling in about 14 million views, 14 million views. 10, 9 million, quite a lot of monthly views. For some reason, I can't even find her channel when I search it. That combined with the fact that she posts around 20 minute videos, let's say she puts about seven or eight ad rolls in there. Guaranteed she's making anywhere between 40 grand and 100 grand a month. And that's not including brand deals, so this shouldn't be a problem. Well, the point is, ladies and gentlemen, is how she lives her life, the things she spends money on. Before we get into that, let's just continue reading this. I've seen many people saying she has this debt due to having to pay such a large YouTube team. But that can't possibly be true, no? Ozzy and Wonder stated that they would barely get any paychecks because Blair would take it as rent payments. So they didn't get much of any money. Which is how one ended up homeless and the other almost lost their home. Or are YouTube editors just that expensive? No, YouTube editors aren't that expensive. A good editor would be paid anywhere between $300 and $600 a video. So to be honest with you, um, I don't think that's where all the money was going. <laughs> Perhaps you should ask all the Amazon packages you were ordering. Oz Media said she was paying them about 2k a month, but she was making 10x that a month with only three to four editors. So it can't possibly be due to taking care of employees and wanting to make sure they are all paid and happy. Well, if it was four editors working on the same video, then it wouldn't be as much as I said earlier. It would be a less because obviously it's less work to do. Also, wouldn't you just let some people go and stop rushing so many videos if that was true? My theory is she spent too much money shopping, specifically on Amazon, and never put enough money away for taxes, as she thought she'd never stop receiving such huge paychecks each month from YouTube. Oz stated every day he would have to throw away at least 10 Amazon packages from all her shops and that the entire house was filled with empty boxes from her shopping. And because she would never clean or put the boxes away, he was forced to do that chore every single day. I mean, as I mentioned in previous videos, I called her lazy for having loads of editors. Now, although it is a good idea to have editors, and I will definitely get an editor eventually, the point is, is that I called her lazy. This is fucking lazy. So, I was right, she is lazy. Why are you making other people do that for? You don't even do anything every day. You just sit there doom scrolling on Amazon and TJ Maxx. <laughs> Oh, I tell you what, though, Blair, it's hard work, innit? It's hard work shopping on Amazon. Oh, it's really hard work, that is. Can you imagine your finger starting to get cramped from using the mouse wheel so much? It's hard work, boy, I know. I... Long story short, if she did go broke due to trying to make sure her workers were paid and taken care of, I guess that's nice. I seriously doubt she'd be so abusive to some workers and then cherish the others, even before taking care of her own needs. Well, in my opinion, ladies and gentlemen, I don't think that's the case. I don't think she's selfless. I think she's selfish. She definitely would not put her employees before herself. 100% I can say that. Well, maybe not 100%, maybe like 99.9%. .9%. Hello, Jerry over here. What's happening, Jer? Surely she wasn't living that lavishly though, right? Well, I, I don't know about that, Jerry. I mean, she wouldn't waste $200 digging up some dirt on the click, would she? Well, actually, Jerry. Yes, she did. We've read this before, but let's just refresh our minds. I need you to work with Jefferson to help me find the click saying the ass slur in a Sad Milk's raw audio. I can do that. Let me get a shower and I'll be down. She claims he said it in a Sad Milk video, but can't remember which one. And she's over her head with shit. I'll pay you $200 to find it. Living lavishly. 
Wow! I mean, $200 for a couple of hours of work. I mean, that's totally insane. She's throwing money away at this point. Maybe, Illuminati, you shouldn't have wasted $200 trying to dig up dirt on somebody and put it away for a rainy day. And I don't mean shopping on Amazon. Not as important as that. Something less important. Like tax. Moving on, if you see this document right here, Colorado Department of Revenue, Illuminati owes $14,000 which is unpaid. But ladies and gentlemen, surprise, surprise, that document was dated 2021. Here we go, 2023. And the total she owed as of this date was $26,000. Oh my days, 26 grand. It's a lot of money, guys. You know what I mean? Like, that's not pennies. You know, maybe too early it was. But of course, I mean, you know, it's all that shopping on Instagram. On Instagram? Mm -hmm. All that shopping on Amazon. Those 10 boxes a day. I mean, what the f How can you buy 10 boxes of stuff a day off Amazon? What the fuck are you buying? And it says right here, status unsatisfied. Now, what it's supposed to say is status satisfied, which means that she would have paid the amount that's required. But unsatisfied? Jerry, what does that mean? It means she didn't pay it. <laughs> Yes, Jerry, that's right. So now, ladies and gentlemen, it's very clear why Blair was trying to sue these three other YouTubers. It wasn't for justice. It was for the money to pay off her own debt. What I can clearly see from here is that she's trying to use other people to pay off her problems, which unfortunately is not the way to go about it. I mean, the first thing she could have done is just paid it off when it was due. I mean, that would have been the simple choice. I mean, in 2021, she was still having 10 million views a month, 4 million views a month, 7 million views a month. She could easily have paid it off. Now, of course, she's only having about 500,000 views a month, which, you know, doesn't bring in... A lot of money, maybe a couple of grand, you know, depending on what a CPM is. Now, realistically, what can you do in this situation? Well, personally, I would just continue to upload on YouTube because that's the best chance you got of paying it back, right? Unless she's got other revenue streams, then fair enough, right? So you should just post as much as possible, build up enough money until you can settle your debt and then get off the platform. <laughs> but during that time, you should take the time, maybe see a therapist, try to recover, build yourself into a new person, try and take control of your impulse buying. Take control of your spending. Try to be financially organized, you know? Read some books. Watch some YouTube videos on how to manage your finances properly. Oh, but that's not all, ladies and gentlemen. There's also another letter here from a debt collection agency. I imagine it's that anyway. Let's take a look. Date filed, December the 5th, 2023. The plaintiff is Marshall Recovery, LLC. Defendant, Blair Zong. The amount claimed from a defendant is principal of $3,600 accumulated interest and costs. Oh, Blair. Blair, you're buying all these Amazon parcels, you're giving people $200 to dig up dirt, and you're trying to sue three people, which is a lot of money to your lawyers. I really feel like your priorities are extremely messed up here. Like, really bad. Like, you seriously need to sit down and get your priorities in order. I understand debt isn't nice, okay? I have debt. I pay my debt every month. Loads of people have debt. Do I have an extreme amount of debt? Not really. Why? Because I try to manage my finances. Before I purchase something, or before I finance something, or before I move into a new property, I try to make sure that I can afford it, you know? I think to myself, okay, I might be making a lot of money now, but in three months time, what if I'm not making so much? I plan for it. I plan how I can get around it. Sometimes you can't. It's impossible. But at least, you know, Jesus Christ, woman! 26 grand over here! Just stop spending all your money on lawyer's fees, okay? Prioritize. This is the most important thing right now. Get this debt settled and you'll be able to sleep a lot easier at night. Trust me. Anyway, moving on from that, Aussie Media actually tweeted this on the 19th of December. I am officially out of foreclosure proceedings with Blair and her company. This doesn't mean things are over, but it's one step closer to having my life back. Thank you for everyone who's supported me so far. Whether through donations, kind words, or being there for my stream. And all the little things you have done. Thank you. So great to see that Oz Media is starting to put things behind him. I mean, for him, I would just say carry on streaming, buddy. Do you. Keep grinding and things will get better eventually. And that goes for everyone. If anybody's dealing with anything hard in life, just keep grinding. Things get better. And you can respond to me saying, no, they won't get better. This is how things are. It's really hard right now. Life's all about perspective, everybody. A great quote from Gordon Ramsay, actually, that really stuck with me is, don't fear a storm, learn to dance in the ring. I'm going through a hard time right now as well. Everyone's going through a hard time. It's fucking planet Earth, everyone. It's, it sucks, all right? <laughs> it does. But that's not all, ladies and gentlemen. I've mentioned this before. Blair. If you really are struggling, you should start selling these pictures on OnlyFans. Oh, I mean, what is this, honestly? Dirty bastard. She's like some sort of, like, empress or something, holding, like, a leash with an NDA in her hand. Yeah, that's bound to get some people off. I don't really get the obsession over that, to be honest. So, what, cartoon characters? What, people find that sexy? 
<laughs> Fucking nerds. Oh, filthy twats, man. Look at this. Dirty socks with the feet out. Gotta give the fans what they want. No one wants this, all right? This is crazy. But I'll tell you what, though, I'll sell these on OnlyFans. I guarantee you, you know, you're probably gonna make a lot of money. Get your artists, or if, you, if you're an artist yourself, and just draw some, like, whatever that is. Draw some of that and release it on OnlyFans if you can do that. I you make a lot of money from that. Great. Illuminati with a penis. That's, that's exactly what I want to see on a Monday morning. Oh, again with the feet, man. And the feet have rings on them. Is that a thing? Can, can you have ri toe rings? Finger rings. Toe rings. Can you have toe rings? I don't know. You sure this will get my sponsors back? I guess I am a bit desperate. It's exactly what I'm saying. It's not as if you're going on OnlyFans and actually sharing pictures of your body. They're just drawings. I would never suggest you to go on OnlyFans and sell your own body for money. No way in hell would I say that. But if they're drawings, yeah, you can probably pull that off, I reckon. What is going on here? Illuminati on a bed surrounded by other Illuminatis with her feet being locked into some sort of guillotine. It's not actually, it's not going to slice her feet off, is it? I think it's like tickle torture, if you've ever seen stuff like that. Don't ask her, right? There's been a lot of late 3 a.m. nights recently. I, okay, look, I do get the attraction to cartoon characters, okay? Gwen from Total Drama Ragland. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I understand, but this is just too far. Like, you, you, you should never post these things on the internet, all right? Who, who is even making these? Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, the conclusion of this video looks like Illuminati is being sued. I've already given my advice on what I think she should do. The only fans thing, obviously, is a bit of sarcasm. I wouldn't really suggest it. I mean, you know, what's the point? At this point, just upload videos on YouTube, you know, try and try and get as much money as you can possible, you know? And I know it's not morally correct, but at the end of the day, put yourself in that position. You know, if you owe this much money, what are you going to do other than your job? <laughs> do you know what I mean? But leave a like, everyone. Comment down below. Subscribe. I'm back, baby. And I'll see you all in the next one. You mad, bro? Uh, yeah. I said, tell me what you mad for. Uh, you mad, bro?